everybody. Welcome to Scripps Gone Wild. Uh, my name is Billy Ray Bruton. I am your normal host for the evening's festivities. But tonight we have another host, Mr. Frank Deets. So before you get to listen to Frank's eloquency, I'm going to run down the general stuff for you. And I'm far less eloquent than Frank. But first off, I want to give a big thank to our sponsors for the night. We've got the wonderful folks at Golden Road Brewing. Yeah! And Sesky Creek Distillery. Yeah! And their stuff looks really badass. So, uh, yeah, you should check them out. Also, the folks here at El Cid. Uh, the folks at Nightmarish Conjurings, who are our media sponsor. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing the Batman thing. That's great. That makes me sound much better. Um... Who's all been to Scripps Gone Wild before? Raise your hands. Wow, how many newcomers? I just want to see all those hands up. Holy cow! That's the most newcomers I think we've ever had. That's amazing. So let me tell you what you're in for. And um, Graham's expression just said it all. So we're going to read a script. In this case, it is Batman 66. And it's also a drinking game. So, if any of the readers flub a line, miss their cue, do anything that can be conceived as a mistake, they have to take a drink. The person who flubbed the line, they have to take a drink. Okay. And it happens way more than you think it would with professional actors. Um, secondly, we're going to cue a couple of trigger words, and uh, those are going to be chosen by you, and whenever one of those words gets spoken in the script, everybody drinks. So be thinking right now about the words that you think might come up often in a script like Batman 66. Wait, so Frank, it's very rare that someone on stage has an idea. Frank, what was your idea? Well, since I had to transpose the script from the original script, which was way too long, uh, I'm very familiar with the amount of words in the script, and I would vote for Yo-Ho. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of sea going. So we're going to give Yo-Ho one of them, but we're going to get one from you guys who's on the count of three, yell your words out. Show. One, one, two, three. Same. Guys, Batman just just rang louder than any other one. <laughs> It only, it only applies if a character speaks it, not if it's in the stage direction. But so the words are Batman and Yo-Ho. And if no one on stage drinks when those words are said, you guys need to encourage them to drink. It's Batman. It's all about Batman. So, is everybody out there aware of what the rules are as I just spoke them? Awesome. We're going to have some sound effects throughout the night, too. Feel free to shout those out as we get to them. It always makes it more fun. Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to be up front the whole night. If any of you generous audience members want to make extra donations to our charity for the night, which is Border Angels, who are doing amazing work at the border, helping families. And so they're our charity for the night. We're super excited to have them on board. And the proceeds are going to go to them, because that's why we make asses of ourselves up here. And, um... Frank, am I forgetting anything else before I pass it off to you? No, I think that's it for right now. I mean, uh, Frank, I think uh, the ball is yours. All right. That helps. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming. Very happy to have you all here. Batman. Not yet. And I'm here supposed to say it, not you. Yo ho! Green, Frank. All right. So, uh, first of all, real quick. How many people here saw this movie in the movie theater when it came out? Oh, a few. A few. How many people have never seen this movie? Oh, excellent. Excellent. Great. 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 Even better. Even better. All right, terrific. So our, what I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm just going to introduce our cast, and uh, then we will get right into the uh, bat venture. So uh, starting on, I'm going to start on this end down here. Uh, Aaron LaPlante, Woo! Brian Howe, Woo! Bram Skipper, Woo! Al Farman, Tom Kenny, Jonathan 
Jason Goldstein. <laughs> Leanne Geets. <laughs> Tabitha Geets. <laughs> Alexis Iacona. Clay <laughs> <Ray> Keller. <laughs> Rico E. Anderson. <laughs> and Miguel Rodriguez. Are you all ready? Yeah. My death is on your hands. <laughs> on a clear and sunny day, a yacht on Gotham City Bay is bringing a revolutionary scientific invention to Gotham City. On a peaceful motor ride, millionaire Bruce Wayne and his ward Dick Grayson have been summoned back to Wayne Manor by an urgent but anonymous call for help. The invention and its custodian are reported in grave danger aboard the yacht. They rush past their Aunt Harriet, gardening on the lawn with their faithful butler, Alfred. Now, I wonder what those two are up to in such a hurry. Stairs and chestnuts, perhaps? Never ones to shirk responsibility, Bruce and Dick, with characteristic speed and resolve, descend promptly to the Batcave. And then, as they have done many times before, as Batman and Robin, courageous warriors against crime, they are off once again to the rescue. Now wearing the uniforms of their crime-stopping alter egos, Bruce and Dick, as Batman and Robin, jump into the Batmobile. Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out. Batmobile races toward Gotham City Airport. Batmobile to airport, red alert. Prepare Batcopter for takeoff. Batmobile approaching Batcopter. Red alert, red alert, Gotham Tower, to all aircraft to Gotham Control Zone. I'm sure you're holding the batteries. Batcopter prepared for takeoff. The sky is all yours, Batman. <laughs> A dynamic duo aboard the Batcopter, and away they go, high above the skyline of Gotham City. The citizens below wave to the intrepid heroes. Jack LaLanne and a group of bikini-clad groupies <laughs> wave to them from the Gotham rooftop. <laughs> We noted they said Batman twice. <laughs> Did they? An older couple look up at the sound of the Batcopter flying above them. It gives a fella a good feeling to know they're up there doing their job. Don't it, Ma? Sure does, Pa. <laughs> the Batcopter flies on until it reaches its goal. The yacht. Bat drift angle, zero three to starboard. Roger, correcting the port. Altitude 317, sink rate 0.49. Drop back ladder. Back ladder away! <laughs> Lock computer on after deck. Set automatic bat hold. <laughs> Watch out, Batman. This could be tricky. Have no fear, bro. Hey. <laughs> Have no fear, Rocky. All my wits about me. So long. For a minute. The boy wonder takes the controls as the Cape Crusader descends the back ladder, intent on boarding the mysterious yacht. Batman to rock! Roger! We'll go! But just as Batman is about to board the vessel, it suddenly disappears from sight. Batman is dumped into the briny sea. Take her up! But as Robin brings the Batcopter up, holy sardine! A large shark has grabbed onto Batman's leg. He struggles to free himself from the frenzy fit, but the creature won't let go. Hand me down the shark propellant bat spray! <laughs> Choosing Shark from the collection of Oceanatic Oceanatic Oceanic repellent bat sprays, the others being whale barracuda and manta ray. Robin climbs down the bat ladder. Utilizing the acrobatic skills he learned as a young boy, he hands off the spray to Batman. Quickly, Batman douses the shark. The repelling spray and the creature relinquishes its deadly hold. As the fish hits the ocean surface, it explodes! <laughs> That was a close shave. It's a fucking shark. One of the most fiendish traps we've 
ever escape. Yeah, the shit that wasn't over there. I have a feeling, Robin, that this case is going to be a strange one. <laughs> A short while later, a crowd of news reporters and photographers have gathered in the office of Police Commissioner Gordon and his colleague, Chief O'Hara. A press conference is being held to discuss the heroics of the King Crusaders. All right, enough pictures. <laughs> wow! That was great. must be brief, ladies and gentlemen. You're lucky the dynamic show will talk to you at It's like I'm in Ireland. <laughs> you there, Mr. Merrick of the Gotham City Times. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to rumor, Batman, a, a transatlantic hey, yacht. Hey, hey, hey. What? Batman! Oh, <laughs> a transatlantic yacht approaching the city has simply disappeared. Nonsense. How can a yacht simply disappear? <laughs> you mean it isn't true? I stand on my answer, Mr. Merrick. Mr. Stanley of the club. This yacht, I believe, belonged to the famous Big Ben Distilleries. That's right. And isn't the firm's proprietor, Commodore Schmidt Lab, bringing with him a fantastic new invention from Big Ben's research laboratory? Please, no more questions about that ship. What about the exploding shark? Doubtless, an unfortunate animal with a chance to swallow a floating mine. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that either, Mr. <laughs> you there, Miss... A striking woman in a leopard print coat and hat steps forward. You grace us with your presence. May I be of service? If you please, take off the mask to give me a better picture. Gasps from the others in the room. Wait, oh. Scott, Batman, take off his mask. <laughs> <laughs> a request is not unnatural, however, impossible to grant. <laughs> Indeed, if Robin and I were to remove our masks, the secret of our true identities would be revealed. Completely destroying their value as ace crime fighters. Hey, ma'am, not even Commissioner Garden and Lisa. <laughs> Nobody really. <laughs> But you're so curious, costumes? Don't be put off by them, ma'am. Under this garb, we're perfectly ordinary Americans. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the masked dinner junkies in the Westerns, no? Certainly not! Batman and Robin are fully deputized agents of the law! <laughs> Support your police! That's our message. <laughs> well said, Robin. And no better way to end this press conference. Thank you, and good day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind, everybody out now. We're all busy here. <laughs> Just the reporters all shuffle out, leaving Batman and Robin to confer with Commissioner Gordon and the very, uh... Great! Uh, I'm not going to add lib, because that's going to fuck me up. <laughs> uh, are you going to finish the line? Chief O'Hara. <laughs> a fine job, Batman. That's all You were laid their fears magnificently. What else could I have done, Commissioner? If I told the truth, panic would grip the city. That's true. And 
Shrinkwitches! <laughs> a decoy. A strange and ominous warning that Commodore Schmidlap is in danger to lure me into a trap. <laughs> You should test on Batman's life! You did! Hey. Hey. while you were luring you to your watery grave, the Commodore's yacht was being hijacked! Precisely! And who's behind it? Not a clue! <laughs> Tell me, Commissioner, what known super criminals are at large just now? <laughs> I'll check it once, Batman! <laughs> Bonnie, let's have the latest status reports on criminals at large. Yes, sir. Thank you. Coming up, Batman, on the closed circuit... <laughs> on the closed circuit TV screen. Come over here. Commissioner Gordon reveals a television screen located behind a secret panel. Status <laughs> report. Known super criminals not currently in prison. The images of the known criminals appear on the screen. The penguin. <laughs> <laughs> She 
enters a room to seek a ride out of the master criminals, the Joker, the Riddler, and the Penguin, along with a few pirate henchmen. The Joker laughs and prances about the room, and the Riddler is annoyed with the Penguin. Ah, you and your trained exploding shark! Arr! How should I know? I have a can of shark repellent? That spray handy, you, 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 you. Snowing sardine, you, 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 friends make me. Have a shake on me. He grabs both their hands and shocks them with his electric joy buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> a joke a day keeps the gloom away. Catwoman turns her black cat on them all. Sick them, Hecate, scratch out their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Take away! Oh, I'll beat him to the birds! I'll incapacitate the beast with my trick of petting. <laughs> united Underworld. Uh, we're about as united as the members of the United World Headquarters on Gotham East River. What's the matter with you all? Drink! Drink! Oh! <laughs> I just need to drink really bad. I think. <laughs> She's right! She's right! If we don't somehow manage to swallow our super criminal pride, <coughs> I'm afraid that. Right, Mr. and I <laughs> We must hang together! Oh, most assuredly, we shall hang separately. Ooh, what a pity that would be. On the eve of the greatest criminal. Ooh, Christmas, I'm like. <laughs> City one of those days I've been a dude it's Literally in our grasp. Batman and Robin 
still alive to block us. Engine the Joker laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything fit fit with the prisoner comrades. He has the quiz. No, but I bet the dynamic duo has. What? <laughs> A clue on how he made that ship disappear. And when they solve it, of course they'll be out to investigate. But well, we'll be there first if we hurry. Then. If we. <laughs> Cat Robin, you tend to this headquarters. The penguin addresses his pirate henchmen, Morgan and Quench. <laughs> Attention, you unfathomable things! Yo ho ho! Might well just hold on. Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> akin to a common desert mirage. It deceived our naked eyes, but was blocked by the back camera's polarized back filter. I think I know where that projection came from, too. Observe that, that old buoy. What's the matter with it? Quite a lot, I fancy. Let's see. The coordinates of our position were 10.3 by 69-B. Quickly, feed those figures into the navigational aid computer. Roger. The boy wonder feeds the data into the back computer. Negative. No legal belt buoy at that position. Ha! As I surmised. An illegal projection buoy ever camouflaged. Wow! Maybe the crooks left fingerprints on it. Good thinking, Robin. Let's find out. To the back boat! Fast! <laughs> the Batmobile arrives at the Gotham City Pier, where the shiny Batboat awaits. Batman and Robin slide down the bat hole access to the vessel and jump in, heading out to sea. Now there's one thing I don't dig, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> if that ship was just a mirage, what happened to the real one? Taken to some secret island hideaway, with every soul aboard saved one. <gasps> Commodore Schmidlap? Precisely. For some baffling reason, the hijackers needed him, or his invention, as part of their criminal scheme. <laughs> Keep an eye out on the scope. Watch for suspicious vehicles. Oh, I'm watching, Batman. Yes, Batman. <laughs> I'm watching, Batman. It looks like we've got the whole ocean to ourselves. At that same moment, a submarine painted to resemble a huge penguin travels silently beneath the ocean waves. Inside, we find the penguin and his criminal cohorts. Diving planes, Mr. Bluebeard! Yo ho! Voice uh, uh, three degrees. Oh, I hope you know what you're doing, penguin. Mr. Uh, I ignore your insipid insinuation, sir. Miss the Joker, you're leaning on the current control. Oh, well, don't sound so bossy, if you please. I guess, uh, 
as the poet says, on land you may command, and sea it's me. <laughs> now hear this. This is your captain speaking. My fine pinion pirates, we're approaching the tricky buoy. Sharpen your cutlasses. There may be Yo ho! Unidentified small craft bearing one one three. Mr. Bluebeard, hold a steady up periscope. I go ho on periscope. <laughs> Penguin and Joker appear into the periscope to see Batman and Robin arriving at the buoy. Great quivering icebergs! Just the right. Batman and Robin board the buoy. Watch your step, Robin. An underwater shark cage. The source of that fiendish fish. What cruelty! Stuffing a poor shark with deadly TNT. True. Nothing sacred to those devils. <laughs> torpedoes, torpedoes! What are we waiting for? Chain of command, Mr. Riddler! The penguin runs a top ship. <laughs> now hear this, Mr. Joker. Oh, the torpedo. Yellow! <laughs> no torpedo too. Up above. Salt and corrosion. The infamous old enemies of the crime fighter. <laughs> Surplus four torpedo 
Jones, he must be using a super energy reverse polarizer. <laughs> Mr. Joker, I have three. Fire three. Well, here comes a third one, Batman. <laughs> You know, we could have stayed with just YOLO, but somebody had to say that. <laughs> Cut! Found it! The batteries are dead! <laughs> this one's getting through. Yeah, it is! It's getting through! There is a huge explosion! <laughs> oh!
<laughs> Look at this pair of choking riddles. What does a turkey do when he plays upside down? He doubles up a curse. <laughs> Number two. What weighs six ounces, sits in a tree, and is very dangerous? A sparrow with a machine gun. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> now, combine both answers. What kind of creature would gobble up a bird in a tree? Heaven protect us! A cat! <laughs> <laughs> yes, the criminal catalyst in this entire affair, our old arch enemy, Cat Woman. <laughs> Joker, Riddler, and Catwoman too. The sum of the angles of that rectangle is too monstrous to contemplate. <laughs> They're working together to take to over. take over what? Gotham <laughs> 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 City. <laughs> Any two of them might try that. The whole country? If there were three of them, I'd say yes. But four? Their minimum objective must be the entire world. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, on the Gotham City docks, in a secret hideaway of the combined criminals, the United World Building, my comrades in crime, our objective is Security Council. Sitting like fat birds in a tree just waiting to be snatched. And you bungled it again. And the dynamic duo escaped our trap. Cursing spormuses, which intercept torpedoes. There ought to be a piscatorius. <laughs> Time is getting short. We've got to get Batman before he gets us. Perhaps I could lure him into the fatal embrace of a giant exploding arc. You say that? They've just been through one of the old fishy explosions and they're still in one piece. And I suppose they'll be broken up by your moldy jokes. Oh, shut up, all of you! I see the way to do it. We'll play each of our treacherous trunks in one hand. And we'll do it here. <laughs> yes. How? How? Oh, the end. The end of all. Yes. Bring them from the Joker's Jack in the Box, through that window, out over the sea, and into the waiting arms of the penguins' exploding octopus! <laughs> the trigger? Oh, one of my riddles, of course, and the bait. <laughs>
Later that same day, in the living room of stately Wayne Manor, <laughs> a charming acronym. <laughs> Thank you, Comrade Wayne. You know, the fame of the Wayne Foundation is known for Leningrad to Kamchatka. It works for peace and understanding. Why? Your picture has appeared countless times in Moscow Google. <laughs> I'm most grateful. Oh, da, da. I wasn't aware of that. Now you say that. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> I'm, I'm most grateful. <laughs> Yet you say you found these rebels on Wayne Foundation stationery under your door of your borrowed penthouse apartment. Yes, come <laughs> That's why I brought them. I brought them in with some foolishness. Then I remember, is there not a bourgeois criminal cat in this country called the Riddler? The phrase upon the workers of America. <laughs> your jargon is quite Miss Kitka. But I live up there. <laughs> but there is such a creature, I believe. Well, what do we do now? Report this riddle to your police, or perhaps that mass Cossack Batman? <laughs> That's hardly necessary at the moment. Doubtless, it's the work of some harmless crank. Nevertheless, shall we give this matter further consideration over dinner tonight? <laughs> what a perfectly lovely idea. Well, I'll telephone, if you'll excuse me, to cancel a previous engagement. Alfred will see you to the door. Dovercia. Dovercia, comrade Ben. Oh, Alfred! <laughs> yes, sir. Alfred, see Miss Kitka out, please. Take the service elevator. Meet me in the back cave. Emergency. Very good, sir. Down in the back cave. Robin, listen to these riddles. Tell me if you interpret them as I do. What? What has yellow skin and rice? <laughs> a bowl of banana. <laughs> 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 Two, what people are always in a hurry? Rushing people. Russians! <laughs> <laughs> right again. Now, what would you say they mean? Banana? Russian? I've got it! Someone Russian is going to slip on a banana peel and break their neck! Precisely right. <laughs> the only possible meaning. <laughs> A clear threat to Miss Kitka's life. Who? <laughs> Miss Kitka. The charming oh, Russian. Who? Oh, yes. <laughs> Miss Kitka. The charming Russian journalist for the Moscow Bureau. In some baffling way, she must have unwittingly stumbled onto the criminal's plot. Alfred arrives. What is the scheme, sir? Tonight, Bruce Wayne will go out on the town with Miss Kitty. A not displeasing chore, sir. Indeed. <laughs> I've rarely met a girl with such a potent argument in favor of international relations. <laughs> However, you and Robin will dog our footsteps in the Batmobile. You'll keep constant watch via the TV bat scanner. Sure, and if the Riddler tries to make good on his, uh... <laughs> sure, and if the Riddler tries to make good on his filthy threats... I'll bash him brutally! <laughs> then we close in for the kill with the police. Precisely! <laughs> Alfred, do you have your driver's license? In my wallet, sir. <laughs> Drive carefully. Good luck. Good hunting. This may prove to be a most memorable night. 
<laughs> Hours later, following a romantic dinner, Bruce Wayne and Miss Kika enjoy slow dancing in a French nightclub. Then, they take a quiet ride in a handsome cab around Gotham Central Park. All the while, being tailed inconspicuously by Alfred and Robin in the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> this curtain which separates our countries is so foolish. If we could just contrive some way of getting more deeply involved with each other. <laughs> Such a method. Jay whispers into his ear. Meanwhile, in the Batmobile. Uh, I, I don't think it's right for us to listen into this, Alfred. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, some things have to be private, even for a crime fighter. You know, discretion is admirable, Master Robin, yes. Time for another check in, is it not, Master Robin? <laughs> hey, Commissioner Gordon's office, the backbone rings. Commissioner! <laughs> <laughs> Batmobile position, Gotham Central Park, proceeding south on West Drive, about to pass Benedict Arnold Monument. <laughs> Great Scott! Still in the park. It's been almost an hour. What the devil are they doing? No comment, Commissioner. <laughs> Let's just say, no sign of criminal activity. <laughs> Yes, I understand. <laughs> I just thought of a clever ruse, Commissioner. Send Chief O'Hara. <laughs> Send Chief O'Hara up to the roof and have him flash the vent. It's the famous bat signal being flashed from the roof of police headquarters. Batman and Robin must be racing there now in response to it. Then you did get the police to call them in for my protection. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> How perfectly wonderful of you. I close my eyes and I dream of those savage Cossacks racing over the steps of their brutal mission. How strange. <laughs> I close my eyes, and I dream of something quite astonishingly different. <laughs> Continue with this dream. 
The dream continues. <laughs> Switches a small cat-shaped device on. She signals a code to her criminal cohorts. Joker, Penguin, and Riddler are receiving the message. It approaches a climax. <laughs> Yet, not so fast. Be more slow. <laughs> May I see you home to that borrowed penthouse apartment? <laughs> he swallowed the cat bait! Yeah. <laughs> and now to make him that big. <laughs> Fates, Morgan, Bluebeard, French! Break out the jet pack umbrella! Yo, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll slip into something more comfortable while your cocoa is warming. <laughs> she kisses Bruce most passionately. In the Batmobile below, Robin switches off the camera that is somehow showing the action above. <laughs> is that prudent, Master Robin? Our instructions were to keep watch. Uh, I don't know about prudent, Alfred, but sure as heck the decent thing to do. <laughs> Perhaps, yes, yes. Meanwhile... <laughs> Drink! Meanwhile, in the night sky above Gotham City, several sinister figures on flying umbrellas are drawing near. <laughs> ah, there it is! 73rd Street and Concord Avenue! Follow me down to the terror! Miss Kika steps out wearing a silk paint robe to the delight of Bruce. Wow. And the Riddler. <laughs> and all my days are trances. And all my nightly dreams are where thy gray eye glances and where thy footstep gleams. Ocean Kravisky, Comrade Vane. Edgar Allan Poe, Miss Kika. To one in paradise. First stanza. About <laughs> that dream you had? Do we dare? Why not? Yes, of course. Why not? Of what use is a dream if not a blueprint for courageous action? <laughs> Into action, comrade. Miss Kitka, I have the strangest feeling that I am about to be utterly and madly carried away. <laughs> Suddenly. Joker, Penguin, and Riddler burst through the penthouse windows, along with their pirate henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kidnapping! I'll jokes on you! You filthy criminal! Sadly, Bruce launches into the creepy kidnappers, fighting one against seven with all his might. Miss Kitka stays to the side, struggling not to reveal her feline truth. He fights heroically, but is finally overcome by them. Meanwhile, in the Batmobile. <laughs> Much as one deplores indiscretion, Master Robin. Uh, you're right, Alfred. I'll just take one tiny, tiny peek. <laughs> 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 but when he switches the camera back on... Holy demolition! <laughs> Bless my dustpan. <laughs> the borrowed penthouse apartment is trapped, and no sign of Bruce or Miss Kitka. Cover the actions, Alfred. I'll, I'll race up with my back rope. Very good, sir. But before the boy wonder can go into action, something startling flies above them. The villainous gang on their umbrella jetpacks, flying away with Bruce and Miss Kitka in their clutches. Holy Halloween! The next day, um, <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> the next day, the Gotham City papers bear the headline Bruce Wayne and Girl Companion Kidnapped. Attractive girlfriend seized in brazen snatch. <laughs> 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 Robin walks up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, that stately Wayne Manor, Aunt Harriet consoles Dick, 
while ah, Mr. Percy, is. who only has one line, <laughs> the main customization <laughs> awaits orders. Be brave, Dick. Be courageous. It's a mark of good breeding. <laughs> sure, I get that, Aunt Harriet, but... It's <laughs> alive. Stop behaving as if this was somehow your fault, Dick Grayson. Mr. Percy, with one line, <laughs> as, as treasurer of the Wake Foundation, you can draw checks, can't you? <laughs> Certainly, Miss Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cooper. <laughs> Abominable outlaws. 
What have you done with Miss Kitka? Oh, she's quite well, Mr. Wayne. I swear by heaven, if you've harmed that girl, I'll kill you all. <laughs> I'll wrench you limb from limb. <laughs> Once again, he rushes him, but with his hands bound, he is immediately subdued. Mr. Wayne, must you be so impulsive? Where is she, Catwoman? Show me, Miss Kitka, or I'll wreck this place with my dying breath. My golden captive, lead him down the labyrinth path to chamber 17. A blinded and bounded brute frowns. <laughs> <laughs> The blindfolded and bound Bruce is brought to another room where Catwoman is once again dressed in her biscuit to disguise. <laughs> Two minutes, no more. Turn on the secret microphone. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. myself forever, Miss Kitka. This nasty soup we're in is largely of my brewing. <laughs> if I hadn't let your beauty lull me off guard. Off guard, comrade. There are some things I cannot disclose, Miss Kitka, but suffice it to say that we're in the hands of the underworld's most vicious foursome. I fear we have nothing to look forward to but death. It may not be that black, Comrade Vane. Batman and Robin are probably hot on our trail. From something I... What? What I do? Batman! On our trail, from something I had to do over here, I think that we are merely bait for Batman. <laughs> Once he's in that trap, we will be released. A slender hope, Miss Kitka. More slender than you can know. <laughs> you do not think Batman will get here? That I cannot say. Tell me, did you overhear any mention of any other prisoner of this rotten gang? No, I did not, Mr. Vane. Who on earth could you mean? Just a thought. It doesn't matter. Speedy escape is our only hope. A moment while I think. <laughs> Commodore Schmidlap ringing for his tea. Oh, yes, yes. Joker? Uh, well, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Craig! Is that one break? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it to him. The Joker responds to Commodore Schmidlap's ding-a-ling. <laughs> Steward of your tea trumpet, sir. Dashed and invigorating the sea air. It gives me an appetite like a horse. Any report on when this blasted fog is going to lift? Oh, quite soon, I think, sir. Oh, it will be quite soon. In the meantime, Bruce has come up with a plan. I've got it. Why didn't I think of this sooner? A thought, Comrade Vane. Up my left sleeve, I have a tiny radio transmitter strapped above my elbow. <laughs> That's a curious device to carry. Not at all, Miss Kitka. Capitalists like myself who carry very large sums of money often have such safety contrivances. <laughs> if I can just get at it, quickly, wiggle around back to back. Maybe you can reach it with your fingers. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Let's get him. A few moments later, there we are. You think you're pretty clever, don't you, Mr. Wayne? Clever enough to outwit you, you stupid thug. <laughs> See about that. Yeah. <laughs> Dear colleagues, let's see what's trapped above his left elbow, shall we? <laughs> Suddenly, Bruce breaks his bonds and once again takes on the vile villain single-handed. He punches his way through them. Cretless creatures! <laughs> I knew you'd be listening in. 
I told you that fish story about a radio so you would untie my arms. <laughs> Get him, you molly coddles. <laughs> Bruce fights valiantly, tossing one of the henchmen goons onto Joker's jack in the box. The cross catapulted through the window, landing on Penguin's exploding octopus. <laughs> Bruce manages to find the room where he and Miss Kitka were in. Miss Kitka! Where are you? <laughs> Unable to find her, Bruce has no choice but to escape by diving out the window and into Gotham Bay. A while later, back at State D. Wayne Manor, Bruce comes through the front door looking disheveled but unharmed. Great day in the morning! <laughs> Bruce! Hello, Commissioner. Come on, Dick, we're late for that important demonstration at the fish hatchery. Right. <laughs> Excuse us, Commissioner. I'm falling for that. <laughs> Great Scott! But you can't dash off now. How did you escape? I escaped with the aid of Batman. Batman! You don't even care anymore, do you? <laughs> Thank goodness that Cape Crusader was well enough to get there in time. Yes, Commissioner. And you better return to headquarters. He may wish to call you there. Right! <laughs> Back at the villain's secret hideaway. <laughs> so, my fine, biggish friends, you have heard my astounding proposal. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> One thing is certain our strike cannot be postponed. We're at the mercy of the Gotham River Tide. Riddler's right, for once. It's now or never to get through the channel. Well, make up your minds. The Batman will never come here now, but the police will. Any instant. So, to the penguins. <laughs> Insley man. <laughs> I say it's crazy, but I say let's try it. We have something to do to get Batman out of the way. I'll go ahead, penguin. This <laughs> the Joker. Would you drop one of your green pills into Commodore Schmidlap's team? Oh, fresco. <laughs> and then carry him down to the submarine. Yellow. <laughs> Will you tell Mr. Ketch to fetch the five guinea pigs? Tell <laughs> Mr. Ketch to fetch the five guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Quetch, fetch the five guinea pigs. <laughs> Yo ho! Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Riddler, would you 
prepare the submarine to get underway while I prepare a demolition charge to terrifying thrust? Welcome to the police. When will we meet? United World Building. United World Building. Gotham East for a company server. 39th floor. 39th floor. I'll be waiting at the elevator. One hour. One hour. <laughs> <laughs> what mere criminal genius, Catwoman? Who else but a genius could conceive such an audacious plot? to deliberately trick Batman and Robin into inviting Batman to their secret Batman with five dehydrated, death-dealing pirates at my command. Careful, careful, careful. Every one of them has them. <laughs> Short while later, Batman and Robin arrived by Batmobile at the secret villain's hideaway. I wrote that wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute. You wrote it wrong, but you read it right the way you wrote it wrong? Either way, Drake, tonight. Show while later, Batman and Robin arrive. <laughs> Stop blaming yourself, Robin. It was perfectly natural and sensitive impulse that made you turn off the bat scanner. <laughs> Maybe so, Batman, but. <laughs> Forget it! Concentrate on the task ahead. The United Underworld Headquarters above Ye Old Benbow Tavern. Are you sure it was right to not tell the police? I couldn't risk it. They still hold Miss Kitka. The crude methods of a police raid might jeopardize that girl's life and plunge us all into a ghastly international incident. <laughs> You're right, Batman. <laughs> what do we do? Use our bat ropes and bust in by the roof? Precisely! Now hold on, Robin. I'm cutting in the super speed afterburner. They leap from the Batmobile and approach the building. Out, Batarang and bat rope. Stand clear! Batman throws the Batarang to the rooftop and the two begin scaling the wall. What do you think, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Batman, with, with people in weird outfits like the four super crooks hanging out here? It, it's amazing someone hasn't already reported this place to the police. It's a low neighborhood, <laughs> full of rum pots. <laughs> They're used to curious sights, which they attribute to alcoholic delusions. <laughs> Gosh, drink sure is a filthy thing, isn't it? <laughs> An inebriated man leans out the window. Ah! You're right! You're right, mate. There's, there's somebody walking up the wall. Batman and Robin reach the top and prepare to enter the highway. Ready with super blinding bat pellets. But instead of villains, they discover a large round bomb. Its fuse already lit. Away, Robin! But, but! Away! Come on, Batman! Batman angles the room. Miss Kitka! With Miss Kitka nowhere in sight, Batman grabs the bomb and rushes to the window, preparing to toss it below. But below, a Salvation Army van <laughs> So Batman must exit through ye old Benbo Tavern, which is full of customers. Quick! Everyone flee for your lives into the street! Everyone <laughs> screams and runs out, except for two bat ladies. Who <laughs> just keep on eating. <laughs> Batman rushes out the door, looking for some place to dispose of the bomb before it explodes. But in every direction, there is someone or something preventing him from knowing it. <laughs> a couple of nuns, a mother pushing a baby carriage, a wounded man, a couple making a new bomb, Batman eating dumplings. Some days, you just can't get rid of a bomb! Yeah! You all go home now. <laughs> Finally, Batman takes the bomb to the end of the pier and it explodes! Robin! Robin arrives, fearing worse. 
Ready, Commodore? Oh, I say, what deucedly strange customs you colonials have. <laughs> well, I'm ready. Batman guesses the fake face. <laughs> to the Batmobile. This could be the break we're looking for. And to the Batcave, they go. He's the penguin, all right. I wonder why he'll let us take him here. We'll soon find out. I'll set up the anti-crime <laughs> eye checker. Stay on the alert, Robin. After I give him the bat wake, we must be ready for anything. Batman sprays the penguin awake. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, I see you. I said, oh, I say, this is extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. I must say. <laughs> Your laboratory exceeds the limits of man's wildest imagination. I'm absolutely. And, and could I, could I trouble you for a glass of water? Your, your bad gas seems to have left me with a somewhat parched sensation. <laughs> Over there, the drinking water dispenser is clearly marked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Sir. Help yourself. Commodore, <laughs> slake your thirst. You will have worse than a park sensation when we're through with you. Thank you. Thank you, said the word slake. Perhaps, perhaps, but I am appalled by your attitude, sir. 
condemning me before the types of an authority, authoritatively established. You are abrogating my constitutional rights, sir. But the slippery imposter wants the water for a more malevolent reason. All set, Batman. Mm. Okay. Come on, Penguin. Time to rip off your false feathers. Hello, Batman. <laughs> I'm coming at once. Certainly. The five guinea pigs are rehydrated from the drinking water. Holy hallucination. I wish it were, but it's not. It's five dehydrated pirates. Rehydrated. <laughs> Have them, the hearties. Shiver them from stem to stem. Yo ho ho, sir. Pirates move to attack, but when Batman and Robin throw even one kick, the pirates disappear with a pop. <laughs> Two more pirates bump into each other, making them disappear. Attack them, you faltering thing! The penguin hits the remaining pirate with his umbrella, sending him into Nowheresville. <laughs> you grab it in the hat. The pirates, they're gone. Popped like balloons. How did it happen? Whoever dehydrated those pirates could not have foreseen their accidental rehydration with the heavy water we use in recharging the atomic pile. Yeah. <laughs> it's naturally left them in a highly unstable condition. You saw it yourself, Robin. The slightest impact reduced. <laughs> the slightest impact was sufficient to instantly reduce them to anti-matter. Anti-matter? You mean they won't be coming back? <laughs> no, Robin. Not in this universe. <laughs> Let that be an object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother Nature. <laughs> My apologies, Commodore Schmidlap. It's clear that I have done you a cruel injustice. You yeah. have? You were duped, brainwashed. The criminals planted those dehydrated thugs on your person. You were obviously under the influence of a post hop hypnotic suggestion when you rehydrated them. Come on down, Commodore. Another sniff of that gas and we'll all return to the city. And so, while driving the unconscious Captain Commodore back to the dock. Are you sure you didn't hurt your head that fight? I'm just gonna drink whatever now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Swallow this pill. I'll we'll give our friend here a whiff of that way. <laughs> Suddenly, the Batmobile begins to choke and sputter. What's wrong, Batman? <laughs> I think we better stop and check it. Sorry about that, Commodore. It won't take but a minute. Yes, you will. The penguin spread his knockout gas from his umbrella at the diamond, diamond, whatever. Drink it, boy. It's good. <laughs> Rendering them unconscious. Yo ho! And away, sorry, and away we go in that Batmobile. One side kick for a sailor. Penguin hops into the Batmobile and drives away. Batman and Robin immediately jump to their feet. You okay, Robin? I sure am, Batman. Thanks to the anti-penguin gas pill. <laughs> that pompous fool. He's played right into our hands. Quickly, the advanced cycle to the best copter. We'll track him to the gang's new hideout. Batman reveals the Bat Cycle, hidden, coincidentally, by the roadside run. And he and Robin zoom away. Disengage go kart. The Batmobile splits in two for some reason as they reach the back of the <laughs> And into the air above Gotham City they go. Bat scanner tracking the stolen Batmobile perfectly. Meanwhile. Saying <laughs> Meanwhile, aboard the Penguin's pre-atomic war surplus submarine, for two degrees, then steady as she goes. <laughs> oh, for two degrees. <laughs> well, must they?
delicious, Sherry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real vexing villain.
applesauce, a unification into one smooth mixture, an egg, nature's perfect container, the container of all our hopes for the future. <laughs> it's a unification and a container of hope? United World Organization. Precisely. <laughs> There's a special meeting of the Security Council today. If what I fear is true... Wow. Let's commandeer a taxi. No. Not this time of day. Luckily, we're in tip-top condition. It'll be faster if we run. Let's go. Sounds great. <laughs> In the penguin submarine, ha! We are now passing through the grotto. <laughs> Ducks, half a fathom. Engines, dead slow astern. Dead slow astern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they land at the abandoned submarine dock below the United World Organization building. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good, just as the blueprint said, an abandoned construction elevator. Hackety <laughs> sniff out the weak spot. <laughs> <laughs> the cat finds a weak spot in the door. The Riddler prepares the plastic exposure. I hope the penguin made it. Ah, oh, Hootie Tim, stand back! The Riddler sets the jaws and blows open the abandoned entrance door. While on a floor above, the penguin attempts to enter the UWO meeting room. Hey, can't you read? <laughs> Fine day for penguin! Looks like Ray! Penguin opens his umbrella and sprays him with knockout gas. And then proceeds to umbrella gas all the other guards just as his criminal corps arrive. Yo ho! <laughs> My criminal co conspirators will meet you. No thanks to you, the dynamic duo has been silenced forever. Blasted out of the sky by an incredible coincidence. Oh, the delicious irony of it. Now, <laughs> oh, are we choking on a piece of lamb chop? <laughs> Here's the joke. Great <laughs> <laughs> applause, Down by one of Rin. <laughs> 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 Happy happenstance! Now hold your breaths as we cross the hall. There are still lingering traces of my finely filtered penguin gas. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I stopped at Panera. <laughs> Let's hope it's a stitch in time, Robin. <laughs> that saves nine. The nine members of the United World Security Council. Come on. In the Security Council building, those nine members argue amongst each other, unaware of the terrible intrusion about to befall them. It is the considered opinion of the majesty government that we pursue peace of all. <laughs> I just want to say, I don't, I don't speak French, but he gave me this fucking line, so I'm not, I'm not going to Comme vous no verrons la paix? Enter the four felonious offenders, armed with the Commodore's dehydrator. Have poor United World in my Joker. <laughs> We're almost halfway there, guys. <laughs> I'm afraid they'll find our humor very, very dry. <laughs> Gentlemen, my country understands your position, but in the interest of peace, we must pursue. Gentlemen, it has always been the policy. <laughs> <laughs> and one by one, that's the members of the council. The villains all laugh in their own maniacal manner. <laughs>
finally arrive at the lobby below. Emergency! Seal this building! And turn off the ventilating system! Robin's right! The entire security council may have been dehydrated! Come on, Robin! <laughs> Upstairs! <laughs> Our receptionist. Our receptionist. Drink. Drink. Okay. Emergency operator, get me security. Emergency. Batman and Robin hurry to the elevator. Up, 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 up. They arrive on the security council level just as the villains are sneaking away with the hydrated council member. Surrender, you criminals. The United Underworld is through. What's this? An apparition. One false move, <laughs> and you'll find out. We'll hurl our batarangs. <laughs> but yes, we, we just, we just wanted two orders of the... <laughs> <laughs> clever way to abduct nine men from a heavily guarded building. Well, where does that elevator go? Downstairs, obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to an abandoned submarine dock on the river. Uh, <laughs> holy Captain Nemo. We'll head for sea by way of Short Island Sound. We have just one trump card left, Robin. Heaven help the world if we fail. Come on. Back inside Penguin Submarine. Down Periscope! We're over the last bar, Mr. Bluebeard. All engines pull ahead. Uh, yo ho! <laughs> <laughs> All engines pull ahead. <laughs> Is that Clubless Morgan from the <laughs> Island? <laughs> The unscrupulous villains gather around their prize. Nine colorful vials of dehydrated security council members. What a perfectly delightful haul. Mr. Ripper, will you kindly prepare those nine radio ransom messages? Yeah, all right, all right. And then they are stupid riddles, do you understand? Make those messages play. <laughs> One billion dollars cash from each country. Precisely, Mr. Ripper, to be delivered to our secret island by the horde of trained carrier pigeons, which I shall presently provide. And no whimsical embellishments, please. Make those messages clear. <laughs> Make those messages clear. <laughs> Joker and Rinda laugh at each other's faces. <laughs> towards them in the bat boat. Sonar contact, range 8000, bearing 181. Yo ho, sonar contact. Small craft at 7500, bearing 01. <laughs> Small craft. It's moving incredibly fast, sir. Ranges down to 7000. The bat boat. <laughs> Ah! Drat that cockle shell! Mr. Bluebird, steady on the diving plane! Yo ho! <laughs> steady on the diving plane! I'll bear the total! <laughs> Mr. Rilla, would you fire a service to service underwater homies? Ha! Ram! boy! Looks like it has a homing device in its nose cone. Get ready for invasive action! No use, Batman, it's tracking us. Here! Take my bat radio. I looked it up this morning. <laughs> a missile receives on a wavelength of 164.1. 164.1. Quickly now! Send a jamming signal! It's starting down! 
the missile crashes into the sea and explodes. Farewell, Dutton. Farewell. Farewell, dynamic duo. Shout out. All the villains dance with joy and applause. Holy bikini, that was close. Yo, oh. Small craft still closing range 4,000, bearing 88. Hey, you know how to jam our missiles? Mr. Catch, up to periscope depths. Drink! Drink! Where are we at? Uh, Drop it. Yo, we're right there. Uh, Range 3,500. Yo-ho, up to periscope depths. Drink for Yo-ho. Range 3,500. Yeah. Get the bet charge launcher. Roger. This is going to need every ounce of our skills, Roddy. You can say that again, Batman. Mm. Batman. Wait, hold on. <laughs> of the world's most imminent man in dehydrated condition, our task is not to sink that sub, merely to drive it to the surface. Follow the torpedo tubes, prepare to fire. Follow the torpedo tubes, prepare to fire. Five, four, three, two, torpedo fire. Torpedoes fire. <laughs> Torpedoes away! Die, Mr. Moose! Die! Yo ho, die! <laughs> Down, periscope! Down, periscope! Uh, torpedo waits off the port bow! Prepare to fire bat charges in front of the torpedoes when in range! The torpedoes explode! <laughs> That's too soon! It must be bat charges! And that means there'll be more of the dread things meant for us! Dismal bird, you and your submarine. Where has that got us now? Shut up, you feline boozy. <laughs> 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 Down 30 fathoms. Run silent, run deep. They're diving into space, which is silent. I'll circle them at full thrust bat speed. <laughs> Diminishing rating is the curvature. Roger. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> yep, no. We're changing every second. They must be circling us. Fire when ready, Robin. I'll maintain curvature. Fire! Uh, no, Robin. Uh, <laughs> Robin fires three times, striking the sub and tossing the villains to and fro. The vials of dehydrated delegates teeters on the edge of the table. Commodore Schmidlap is jostled in his bony stateroom. Your whole compartment A, B, and C, taking in water, sir. <laughs> Coast Guard, Batman to Coast Guard. 
There's a drifting submarine two miles east of Sandy Nose Lightship. It's filled with human jetsam. Come, take it in tow. <laughs> All right, I guess we're out of time, folks. Unfortunately. Oh! So, yeah. uh, Commodore Spin Lab trips and he, and, he, and he breaks all the vials, they're all mixed up. So, Batman and Robin take him to the Batcave and they try to, they try to, uh, they use a machine to put them all back in the bats and vials. And uh, when they, 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 it works, they come up together, but they all have different voices. They're all like the French guy is now German, all the German guy. And, and, and Batman and Robin just say that their work is done and they sneak out through the window. But the ones we don't finish are more special than the ones we do. Thank you guys for coming very much. Come back in April for a week of their own. And give a big round of applause for the folks on stage.